In today's episode, we rip off the M90 to test fit the North Star M122 Supercharger. So let's do it. Is that the end of the tag? Cool. Man, I'm sick of ripping this damn supercharger off. So I know what some of you might be thinking. Why is this taking so long for him to get around to doing this? And the honest answer is, I suck. <laughs> and I just have been lazy. So I won't bore you too much with all this garbage. It's the same stuff you've probably seen a million times before. I'm gonna just pull the belt off, obviously, which is done. Take off coolant lines, throttle linkage stuff, and rip it off so we can just see how this thing looks because I'm sick of thinking about it, and you probably are too. So through the magic of editing, and just like that, we're gonna strip it into the lower intake manifold. So easy days from here, let's go grab that North Star gear and throw it on. All right, now sometimes having spare engine parts that you can mock up on your bench is awesome. And sometimes it proved to be absolutely useless. As in this scenario, the last video we saw we had it mocked up on the bench and this video putting it on the car, one thing that's not on the bench model is fuel lines. So we currently run into the issue that I'm running the standard steel fuel lines on the non-BBTI one you said. And the rear one comes up and raises and hits this. So in order to fit these, I'd have to end up taking those off and running a speed flow line or a braided hose basically to go around the back. Um, so that's cool. And then we ran into the exact same issue on the front, except we have a speed flow hose that goes to the outlet for the return side of the fuel rail and it also fits. So basically I'm gonna to have to try and get a real tight short radius elbow or something there to make that clear for this to fit. So that sucks. But for now anyway, we can pop this side on. At least we've got two of the four pieces on here. That way we can sit the charger on top and see how it actually looks. So let's do that instead. So we've got 50% of our manifold on here. So far from ideal, but for today's purposes, I reckon it's gonna be all right. They're nice and sturdy. Uh, good and mating faces for that North Star M122 to get on top of. So as I was talking about before, see if I can get a nice shot down here. Yeah, getting me. <clears throat> there we go. So that's a bit better. So you can see there, we have a sort of line of sight looking at that fitting and it's pretty much 50% of it hits that um, manifold there. So not ideal. Um, when I feel like messing around with the fuel lines, I might even potentially be able to just see if I can clock that 90 degrees coming out this way here. And we might have some luck, but I reckon it'd be pretty close. But regardless, we'll jam this supercharger on top and see how it looks. Well, it looks like everything today is just not going as planned. So, um, the charger's obviously on there, sitting down, looking all right, um, and actually came a couple of issues. So, I don't know how many of you actually follow the Facebook page for Project One UZ, but I actually made like an MDF version of this, which was pretty agricultural, I'll say, which was just like a timber box with a couple of spaces on it, just to sort of see how it had sit a couple of years ago. I'll throw up a photo of it. And based on that, um, I can't remember at the time if I'd tried to line the snout up or not. I think I was under the impression that I wanted to shorten the snout and bring it away from the firewall. So, from that, I'd kept the dimensions and we came up with this design. Um, and I'll show you what we've got. So we've got it sitting there and I'll try and get a good shot for you. Uh, where's the belt rating? So as you can see down there, that is the idle of pulley that returns up around the M90 and goes down in, I mean, I don't know how far that is. It's probably a good inch, inch and a half, something like that away from the supercharger pulley. So yeah, that basically means that this would have to get shortened to make all that work. So that's another hurdle that I'll have to cross if I decide to throw this charger on there. But yeah, belt routing aside, um, the clearance for the firewall is pretty tight. So as you can see there, that's the electric motor for the drive-by-wire throttle. So currently that'd sort of come right onto that seal for the bonnet there. So it's not ideal, but you could get away with it if you want. Um, I have no idea how you'd mount an air filter to that, but 
most likely we end up be running um, the mechanical throttle if we can get back around here. Alright, yeah, so it's sort of hard to see, but that's the passenger side of the car looking back and there's basically not much room at all there. So that electric throttle will definitely have to go if we decide to go down this route with this North Star Supercharger. But other than that, like, fits. Looks pretty cool. It's a shame that we can't close the bonnet currently because the hole for the snout is actually on the opposite side on the M90, so that's kind of lame. But as far as we've talked about in previous videos, I'll see if I can get some light here. Just like that. Yeah, we potentially could delete the electric throttle off the back of it, swing 180 underneath and then have our intake piping come through here and out to the side. So yeah, that's basically where we're at with this. So we'll just do some more panning shots and that's where we're at. So basically we've got a couple of options from here. Um, one of them would be to just change the dimensions of those adapter manifolds and swing the charger right back to make the stock snout line up with the drive system. Um, but the only issue with that is that it will go right into the firewall. So we'd have to clearance it quite a bit for that. And currently we've probably got four inches of room left in the bonnet before it disappears for the cutout in it. Um, so that's not ideal. You basically have no back part of your bonnet. It's probably gonna be a bit flimsy by that point. So I think I'd like to leave it where it is. And that means that the snout's gonna to have to get machined down and shortened up so that's a bit of a bummer um i'm not sure on the bolt pattern of it but there's a company in australia called aussie speed shop i believe um, i'll throw a photo up but they actually make custom snouts um so i know that they do a lot of the m90 stuff for the l67 and adapt it to different cars um but they also have listings for like the m112 etc and i'm not quite sure what the bolt pattern is i've got a feeling that i've seen one before it's the same bolt pattern so we could potentially do that and then go aftermarket snout to shorten it right up and that'd get that drive system to line up, which would be sweet. And we could use the current layout for those log manifolds. So that basically leaves only one other problem with that and that is the throttle situation. So if we delete that electric throttle at the back there, the idea will be then to make a flange plate off the back of the supercharger, 180 degree tight radius bend underneath, bring it right to the front and then potentially here, mount the throttle, and then basically intake piping down to a filter, probably down there somewhere where the battery used to live. So that's how, where we're at with this. So that's a bit of a rough overview of where we're at with this supercharger setup. If you've got any good ideas about how we can modify the snout or buy an aftermarket snout, that would be a better fit. Um, or if you've got an experience with mounting one of these superchargers to a 1UZ, I'd love to see it um, and hear some feedback. So. We'll sort of leave that at that for now and we'll come up with some ideas and see what we come up with in the future. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.